Hello guys, this is Brad again, and uh, what I thought I would do right now is just uh, give uh, my thoughts on some of the early um, contenders for American Idol this year, 2012. If you've been following the show, you know that uh, we're getting ready to start uh, the Down and Dirty uh, Top 13, and um, so this is where, where things really get exciting. Um, so I thought what I would do is just kind of tell you which of the girls and which of the guys that I have my eye on right now this season, and uh, I hope that they do really well. But you know, with this voting, it's always interesting to see uh, how things turn out because, as we know, there does seem to be some sort of a uh, young female bias in the voting because, uh, as we saw last year, a lot of the girls got kicked out very early on, and uh, it was basically just. Uh, Lauren, Elena, and uh, Haley that uh, pretty much kept the girls going. And then, of course, Scotty ended up winning the prize. Uh, so uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get all caught up in the hoopla of American Idol this year. Um, I'm kind of not quite as into it as I used to be. Uh, I've been watching it pretty well this year. I did kind of skip through some of the performances. Um, but uh, I think I have a pretty good... Uh, you know, pretty good to feel for who I like right now and who I don't really care for. So I, I would like to start by just giving you some early thoughts on the guys. Um, first of all, there was a guy that didn't make it through, and I was kind of upset that he didn't make it into the top 13. His name is Reed Grimm. Reed Grimm was a guy, he kind of came across almost like a Michael Buble kind of a guy, kind of a like a scatty, jazzy kind of a guy. Uh, he played uh, some drums. And, you know, he really brought a, a fresh twist, I thought, to the whole American Idol experience. Definitely a unique, and I thought, you know, somebody that could really have made the competition pretty fun. But, uh, unfortunately, for whatever reason, he didn't make the top 13. I do wish him all the best, but, uh, yeah, he won't be in the top 13. Um, so I think that was, for me, the biggest shock of the elimination process so far. Uh, so who we got left? Um, one guy that I still have my eye on. Um, Philip Phillips, he comes across as like a Dave Matthews kind of a guy. I don't really think he's quite as good as Dave Matthews myself. Um, I think he's always going to shadow, you know, his his persona if he does make it big. Um, then you got John Mayer and, you know, stuff like that. So it's going to be hard, I think, for him to really be successful. But, you know, at least it is refreshing to see somebody on American Idol, you know, at least – you know, doing something a little bit different from what you usually see. So uh, I have my eye on Philip Phillips. Um, the other guy, I guess, uh, I think has the goods to go very far, maybe even win the competition. You have Colton Dixon. He's the guy who has, like, the blondish, streaky uh, hair. Um, comes across as very um, alternative, kind of. I would say he's probably kind of like, maybe like the Adam Lambert of the group, maybe. Uh, very, very relevant um, so I think he could do well, and he's probably cute enough to keep the girls interested as well. So those are the guys I think uh, I'm excited for this season: Phil Phillips and Colton Dixon, and you know just a very sad situation with Reed Grimm. As far as the girls go, um, the one that I'm really impressed with right now is Skylar Lane. Um, she's the one that did "Stay with Me," which is like a classic uh, song by. Rod Stewart and the Faces, which is actually one of my favorite songs ever. So it was wonderful to hear a girl's um, spin on that song, even though I do think it was remade by Travis Tritt. But uh, she did a great job and really impressed me. I like her uh, twang and her energy. I think she's actually um, doing a better job than Lauren Elena, who always came across as a little bit scared and a little bit stiff. Great voice, but just didn't really seem like she had a great stage presence. Um, so I'm hoping that she can really do well, make the top three. Um, of course, uh, Erica Van Pelt is another one. She's a, an older lady. Um, she's a nice, uh, deep uh, quality to her voice. I think she um, deserves to do well. Um, I'm just afraid um, with what happened to Pia last year that you know she could end up you know getting um, booted out soon just because she is older more mature and maybe she won't relate to the younger voters 
So, uh, yes, Goward Lane and Eric and Van Pelt. I hope they do great. Um, we'll keep watching this season, and we'll see how it goes. I hope we, uh, you know, the right person will win this year, and the women will stick around, because I'm not really impressed with the guys this year. There's a couple guys I like, and the other ones, I'm not sure if, you know, if I would buy their albums, to be serious. So, um, my initial thoughts, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.